Hello everyone, today I will be unboxing and showing you a very special watch that is the Omega Seamaster 007 Bonds Edition. Let's open it up. get this leather pouch it's a nice soft leather these two pockets are to keep your master chronometer card and your warranty card there it is nice leather what else we get in the pouch nothing more it's just the watch I'll just keep this aside. Zoom in. You see it is quite slimmer than the normal Seamaster versions the 300 meter drivers sapphire glass is raised up that is the dome sapphire I personally like dome sapphire glass it's a very light watch this is completely made up of grade 2 titanium case is brushed finish aluminium bezel and it has loom in it I will show you that in the loom shot it's got a screwed on crown of course it is 300 meters divers watch you see how the dome glass stands out here I'll just remove this NATO strap I'll show you the back so unlike the Seamaster 300 meters divers you don't get a see-through case back in Bond's version it's a light watch You see these keepers, they have Omega as well as 007 engraving on them. Everything, the buckle and the keepers are made up of titanium. Let's go for the wrist shot. That's my Citizen Pro Master satellite wave. The Omega logo on the buckle, Omega branding on the keeper. This Omega Bonds Edition watch has 8806 movement it is in-house movement it is built by omega this movement is similar to the movement which we get in the normal seamaster divers 300 m that is 8800 the difference between 8806 and 8800 is the date function that is the only difference feels like feather on my wrist it is anti-magnetic as well, anti-magnetic till 15,000 gauss. 15,000 gauss is a lot more actually as we are always surrounded by magnets like our gadgets etc. 
so it's good to have a watch which can handle all the odds which come in our day-to-day -day lifestyle and also it is master chronometer certified that is the swiss federal institute of metrology metas it's a good watch it can keep precise timing with a deviation of 0 to 5 seconds per day brushed finish sword hands As I said, even the bezel has loom with a green luminescence at 12 o'clock mark. The seconds hand and the R hand and the indices as well as the bezel has blue luminescence and green luminescence in the minutes hand. So what else do you get? This is the magazine which you get with this watch. This is the No Time To Die magazine published by Omega. You see these two watches were used by Bond in the Bond's movie. The Omega Museum. There are quite a lot of things in this magazine. Okay, you see these making scenes of the No Time to Die movie. Most wanted. You see Daniel here. And this is the watch which was used in a Spectre movie by Daniel. It sold out, I could not get this watch. And these are the earlier ones, the Seamaster with the wave pattern. And this is the barrel. Science of Fiction. Okay, nice. Oh, the another character from No Time to Die. Okay. This is this is nice. It's like a sketch of his outfit. It's called Beyond the Tox. Okay, this is my watch. So you get this in mesh loop as well as on NATO strap. So there are two editions. The mesh loop is titanium. Okay, this is no time to die. You see Daniel wearing this watch but this is not on NATO strap it is on the mesh loop it's identical let's go outdoors now that looks beautiful I like this, the branding done on the keepers as well as on the buckle and the not not 7 or the 007 engraving. So this is not a limited edition, these are not made in limited numbers. You can buy this anytime till Omega discontinues it. So go get your Bond, James Bond watch. Thanks for watching, subscribe to this channel, a like if you did and follow me on Instagram at the Indian Time Collector. Thank you.